clear. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. All right. Welcome to Crystal Clear Skin Talk. And today we're on our last step, which is moisturizing. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see that right here. All right. So it has kojic acid in it, which works as um, a blocky for a tyrosine from forming, which presents melanin production. Okay. So we want that to help us decrease, um, decrease. We want it to increase our melanin production. We want it to even out our skin tone. So this has that in it, as well as niacinamide. And it's a form of vitamin B3, which is an essential nutrient. And um, B3 is a deficiency that we have, um, which can create skin issues. Okay, so we're talking about that a little bit. But today I have a guest, okay, from <laughs> Baby and Kids Unlimited. And she makes the most realistic dolls that I have ever seen, okay? I really wanted to talk to her because the, the, the artistry that it takes to make, the, to make these dolls are just incredible because you have to have a real skill to get the skin color on these dogs so that's why i really wanted to interview her today because the skin color on these dogs even though it's pink you have to have cer a certain skill to get these dogs to look realistic i mean she has everything dimples on these dogs she has um, scars, sometimes birthmarks, eyelashes, hair. So I'm going to introduce to you. She's going to introduce herself. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So we are watching you at work right now. This is so exciting. Um, so are you working on a project right now? Somebody ordered a doll yeah. today? Okay. How did you get started in this? Well, I used to make um, I used to make baby products like hair bows, tutus, jewelry, etc. And I was looking for a lifelike doll to model the products that I was selling. And um, I came across lifelike. I came across the lifelike dolls. I ordered one. And I remember them using the tag Reborn Baby Doll. It ended up being a burgeoner doll. I'm not sure if you guys know what that is, but it's just a little like factory doll. Well, right. that's not what I was looking for. So I remembered the tag and I went back and put in that tag instead of putting in life lifelike dolls. And that's how I came across the Reborn community. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the artist that I seen her work I couldn't get a reborn at that time. So I just start doing my research and this led to me end up um, reborn. It. So have you um, had some type of art background or anything or makeup? None at, or? None at all. So this was natural. Yeah. yeah. I'm wow. so sorry. I'm You're so so yeah. Wow. That is awesome because people go to school for this type of stuff. I'm pretty sure people have went to, you know, some type of art school or something like that. Because I've seen those American dolls and truthfully, they have nothing on you. <laughs> <laughs> They're factory dolls, though. Yeah. yeah. By, the reborn baby dolls are done by hand. Ooh. Okay. So now you're painting right now, right? Right. Okay, so you're doing the arm. I'm trying to see over here. This is a this is the leg. Okay, so that's the leg. I'm blushing the feet right now. Okay. So, so how do they come to you at first? Do they come to you like as naked with no anything and then Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Get it up. Guys. <laughs> this is a this is a blank kit. They come like this. Okay. So you get the arms. Okay. And the legs. And there's thousands of kits out there available. It's so many of them. I haven't yeah. even reborn 10% of them. And you get a head. So this is how it comes. Yeah. So you get a head. Oh, wow. And this is the reborn June asleep. Okay. You get the, the legs. Wow. And then you get the arms. So okay. I get it in this form. And then I do everything past this point to make it look as lifelike as possible. And I'll hold... Um, I'll hold one up just a second. So when you first got that kit, did you have an idea of how you were going to do this since you had no prior experience? No idea at all. I just paint. Wow. <clears throat> so the eyes and all of that stuff, that, that has to be very intricate. Look at that. Right. I have to add the eyes and everything in there. So this is how they come. They come blank. Okay. And this is vinyl. Wow. So the <clears throat> vinyl makes it look more real? The painting is what makes it look realistic. Okay. Okay. Wow. So when people buy them from you, um, do they ask for a kit so they can do things on their own as well? Some do. Okay. And this is wow. one that's this is one that's completed. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And she's actually a old my old way of painting. She's like a couple of two, two or three years ago that I painted her. Yeah. And look at the hair on that. So is that human hair on her head? Yes. Wow. So you put the human hair on there and all of that. Yes. I do everything from that from that. The blank kit that I showed you. Okay. So everything past this point, I do. Wow. So, so I does do that woman have any details in her face, like dimples or something like that? Some kits have dimples, like her particular kit has dimples. Okay. Already indented in the kit. Yeah. So, so yeah. how can you pick and choose the colors? Because... That that is what makes it really real as well. How do I you just get mix? Color? I just okay. mix. Like I don't. I just mix until I like it. I put it on, see if I like it. If I don't like it, I wipe it off and mix again. So I just mix until I like. When wow. I come up with the colors. So when you first got started with that, I know that had to be difficult. <laughs> oh yeah, it yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had I had I. I'm better as far as mixing, but in the beginning, mm -hmm. the my paint was real blotchy. Mm. So how do you fix that when it becomes blotchy? Thin out my paint more. Okay. Um, do do um, don't put it on as thick. Okay. So it's more time consuming. Ah. Okay. So do these people send you pictures? And then you have to go off the pictures. No, I don't work off pictures. Oh. The, there are artists out there that does portrait reborning. That's what it's called, portrait reborning. But I don't do portrait reborning. They'll use you. Majority of the time, they will go on my page mm -hmm. and look at a baby that I've already done. And if that kid is available, I'm I usually end up making that kid again, mm -hmm. unless it's somebody that already in the reborn community and they know what kit they want. Because okay. I try to direct people to go pick out a kit, but when it comes to sending someone to the website, mm -hmm. it's hard to tell someone to go pick a, pick out a ah, sorry. It's hard to tell someone to go and pick out a kit if it's not my work that they're seeing. So they okay. may see pictures of other babies and they like, you know, in their head, they're probably like, why is she sending me to this? And wait a minute, she's charging this, but when I go on the website, it says this. But when they go on the website, that's where I order the kits from. So that's only the price for the blank kit, not for it being reborn. Wow. So these dolls are um, pretty live. Like, do you ever come in the house and 
<laughs> and in like, wait a minute. No, <laughs> but I did in the past, I did have um, one of the kits that I have that's in my nursery, Princess Charlotte. Okay. I believe it was her. She's a, she got straight legs, so she stands on a stand. And I moved her out of the spot that I usually have her in and forgot yeah. that I moved her. <laughs> And came, <laughs> came down in the nursery and I was like, so, but other than that, no. So you actually have a nursery for them. I've seen that on your website. Um, so what made you do that as well? Like first you started out just painting dolls and then you said, okay, I'm going to do it. I like collecting them too. Okay. I like, I don't fell in love with them. And like some some kids is just like you look at them and you be like I'll paint a baby and I'd be like I don't want that so I fell in love with them too even though I'm a even though I'm a a reborn artist I still have my collection also oh so like how can you not Ooh. fall in love with that <laughs> oh, oh hey, my hi God. everybody say hello. hello. So now, yeah, I'm that down because it's hard for me to see. You said what? Is that a black or white or Chinese doll? Cauc Caucasian. Let me okay. zoom. Let me zoom in. Yeah. Hold on. Don't go nowhere, man. <laughs> right. We acting up. There oh, you wow. go. Oh, <laughs> now what's his name? Because I know you have the name. His name. He's the Thomas Away Kit, but his name is Romeo. Okay, Romeo. Oh, Romeo is adorable. Now, do Romeo have any uh, birthmarks or anything? Um, like I put a scratch on his face. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't think I, I put like any. I don't think I put any birthmarks on him. Okay. But so he what does. You put a scratch on his face? He does have veins. I was just looking at him. And yeah. I was like, I'm gonna put a scratch there. Let me see if and his... you have veins. Mm -hmm. Wow. I put wow. them on. Can you wow. see it? Yes. Wow. So now, yeah. how long does that take? <laughs> a couple of weeks to longer just depends on the size that I'm doing. Okay. The hair is what takes me a long time. It takes me over 30 hours to install the hair. Woo! So you you know, you do it like Piece by piece, and oh not piece by piece, but a couple of hairs at a time, and I put it in with the needle. Oh my goodness, you are doing a fabulous <laughs> job! Thank, Thank you. Me. Now, the, the doll back there, um, with the braids, this one, yes, she is the child size Gabriella, so she's the size of a seven year old. Wow, I ain't gonna pick her up because usually when I do. <laughs> She fall out, so I'll zoom in on her. <laughs> yes. But she be doing the most, so I ain't even just pick her up. So you had to have experience with hair as well. I used to always do my own hair, and I used to okay. do people's braids, yeah. Yeah, because that looks awesome. Look at the eyes on that one. So do you put contacts, or how does that work with eyes? <laughs> I put, I, there's all different kind of different kind of um hold on there's all different kinds of eyes okay so i insert the eyes in okay wow look at <laughs> that so like this is one of this is an eye so it's all like it's all kind of eyes glass eyes um palmer eyes uh uh -huh. All kind of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, so where did you get the inspiration for that dog? Because you say you don't look at pictures. I just paint. It's it's hard to explain. I just paint. You just come and in it, your head and you just paint and it just flow. That's just like a good uh, makeup, um, a good makeup tutorial type thing. Mm -hmm. We don't know where this, we'll have a blank canvas. Right. And we don't know how it's really going to come out. Until you know. you're done. <laughs> we, until you're done. So right. that's 
Yeah, and I think that is like natural instinct, you know? I really do. And that's definitely a gift. Thank you. Yes. I am just like in love with what you do. I watch your channel. And now, just like when we were little girls, mm -hmm. we used to, you know, talk to the dolls and, you know, I would. I <laughs> do all the time. I talk yes. to them like, like this. Okay. <laughs> the whole now, problem. They call us kooky and crazy, but hey, like, it's too much drama in the world. So yeah. why not just have fun with these things? Now, do you have any children or? Yes, I have three. My okay. oldest is 27. Then I have mm -hmm. a 25-year-old and a 19-year-old. So what do they think of this? Um, they really don't, they really don't say they, they have their dolls that they, you know, you know, God forbid anything happens to me, but they have mm -hmm. their ones that they want out of my okay. nursery, but they don't like interact with them or anything. Okay. When you first started doing that and you told your kids, like, I'm making dolls, like, what was their reaction? Okay. Okay. That's how they said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. So these, these dolls, they start at what price? 800 and up. Okay. And I see that being great because all of the intricate work that you do on them, like, I definitely see why. And then you got the eyelashes. That is a, another great detail. So I put them in. I put I roots those in with the needle. Wow. And that's the eyebrows human. too. Huh? That's human hair as well. Yes. Wow. Now do <laughs> you come back and get um, you know, if they start to wear, do they come back and get, you know, things done to the dials? Um no, I haven't. I've only had two that I had to uh, go back and do something on. And that was because they were given to children and they mm -hmm. messed them up. But other than yeah. that, no. Okay. So the people that order dogs, I can imagine you have people that may have lost children. Did they ask you to make dolls for them that, you know, kind of looks like the children that they lost or anything like that i get asked that all the time but mm -hmm. i don't work off pictures so to mm -hmm. to to not have to go through all that not being insensitive or anything but i just don't work off pictures because it's already hard trying to paint a reborn in someone else's vision let alone trying to try to paint a reborn that's a memorial you know a memorial mm -hmm. I just don't, I don't take on that. Yeah. Now, do these dolls, how do they keep their moisture since we're talking about moisture today? Um, they don't have any moisture. Okay, because the because it's vinyl, right? Right. Okay, so the vinyl keeps it looking moisturized. Let's say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess how you paint it? I don't know. Okay. I never thought about it like that. Yeah. That's why I was telling you that I can, you know, kind of coincide with what you do or what I do because uh -huh. you definitely have to have an eye for this. Um, just like I'm an esthetician. I'm an esthetician, so I can look at anyone's face. Um, it is a natural gift. I did learn it in school as well, but the natural gift came where I can absolutely look at your face and can tell um, what you need. Like if your skin needs oh. hydration um, without even looking under a microscope. What my skin need? I can't tell from here. <laughs> you need me to film in? I'm trying to look. Let me see. You know, this camera on this thing. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Zoom in. Let me see. Now, my skin is very sensitive. Okay, it's very sensitive. Mm -hmm. You may need a little bit of moisture. What type of what what do you use on your skin? Water. Water. Okay, so do you have any breakouts? I can't really see on this screen for some. Reason. 
No, this is the I computer don't. one. So. Only time I broke out is like if I try to use a soap or something on my face, then my forehead will break out. So other than that, just water. Just water. Do you moisturize mm -hmm. it with anything? I'm no, nothing. You know, some people can get away with that. Um, I have clients that says that, that they only use water. The only issue with water is um, the dryness. Yeah, the dryness too, but the pores. Like cleaning your pores, mm -hmm. your skin will look even better because it'll help with the melanin. It will help to bring out the natural glow of your melanin if you use different types of soap. So mine is vegan and paraben free. It's called Crystal Clear. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a cleanser. I have a toner. I have an exfoliant and a moisturizer. So my cleanser has vitamin C, which boosts your immune system. And what that does is it helps to keep the moisture in as well without drying out your skin. Because there's so many cleansers that dry out your skin. And I hate that. You know, so I wanted something that would ultimately keep our melanin intact, also help with any breakouts or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what you're doing is fine. Um, I can just add to what you're doing. Um, okay. Ever want to try it? Um, the exfoliant is great because it'll help to exfoliate. I don't know if you've ever had any problems with flaking. Um, Especially in the summertime. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the exfoliant is jojoba. And what that will do is help to take the skin off naturally. Not so much uh, take a whole bunch of skin off because we have dead skin cells that we deal with every day that come off. And then when we go out in the sun, um, we don't realize it, but we get burned. Yeah. You know, we get burned and... The reason being is because we don't put on sunblock, that's one, um, because a lot of people think that we don't need sunblock because of our melanin. And that's not necessarily true because our melanin doesn't protect us, protect us against the sun and in the wintertime as well. Right. So, so what you're doing is fine, but I can add to and even make your skin even more poppin'. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep. I wouldn't mind so, trying it out. Hey. <laughs> yep, and then my serum, it has, um, so do you experience any dark marks? Yeah. Okay, so that's hyperpigmentation. That's on your cheek area? About right here. I just started experiencing this like, I believe the beginning of this year. Okay. Yeah. So what I was telling the viewers earlier is um, the vitamin C, the um, kojic acid and niacinamide that is in my facial serum and lemon essential oil. All of those are to help to lighten those dark marks, not like skin bleaching or anything like that. It just helps mm -hmm. to even out your tone. So it will help those dark dark marks that you have on your cheeks, which I see clients come in all the time. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me for your skin or do your can your um anybody in the comments if they have any questions? I can't see them. Okay, uh, I'll, read, I'll read them to you. Y'all have any yeah. questions for? Yeah, for your skin care issues. This I is black wounds as well. This is who? Black owned as well. I work with the chemist. Um, okay, okay. I've been doing, I've been an ethicist for four years. Nice. Yep. And I decided because the people kept asking me, what do you recommend? What do you recommend? So I did my research. Right. You know, and um, I found a chemist that I like to work with and she gave me exactly what I wanted. I didn't want anything too harsh. You know, because our skin, and believe it, be, believe it or not, our skin and other nationalities, I have to use different things on their skin. Mm. So um, I really wanted to focus on something that everybody can use. 
Okay, Miss Tiffany said, is your skincare okay for children? I have an eight-year-old daughter. Yes, it is okay for children. Um, what I tell people about using my skincare line is you have to notice and be your own skin detective. You have to see what your skin is doing every week. So if your child has acne or anything like that, you have to work with skin. So you have to say, what are we eating that will cause these skin breakouts? So it could be greasy foods, because I know I feed my children uh, chicken nuggets and fries and all of that stuff, McDonald's sometimes, because we don't feel like cooking. <laughs> right. Or um, even we don't think about changing our pillowcases. You know, um, things like that. Or, you know, children put their hands on their face. Yeah. So the cleanser would be great to start off off with with a child as well. Um, of course, I would suggest that you wash their face with your hands. Make sure your hand is clean, um, and clean it with your hands because you can take it off with the towel. But you know, what are we washing those towels with? You know, that's true. Um, yep. So it is great. For children, the whole set is 105. You can buy them um, separately. Um, it'll be an extra $8 shipping. The cleanser is only $25 with the $8 shipping fee. Um, so that's the cleanser. The toner, um, it's a cucumber toner. Cucumber is great. It is full of vitamin C. And you can use a... Um, like a cotton swab or something to put it on, or you can put it on with your hands and make sure it taps in for moisture. Okay, one jazz wants to know, where can we find your products? You can find my products right now um, on Facebook. You can look up Crystal Clear, and that is Crystal, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-C-L-Y-E-A-R. And that is Crystal Clear Facebook page, just inbox me. And um, you can cash at me. It'll have all of that on there. I uh, took down the website because I'm getting it redone. Um, so I'm just having people to cash at me. And then uh, they'll put their address in the inbox and all of that. And then I can ship it to you. Do you have PayPal? My PayPal, I don't really like using PayPal because the PayPal app has been really acting up. Um, so Cash App is better for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do anyone else have any questions? Hello? Any more questions? Questions? Huh? I say any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a delay on this stream yard and stuff. Right, I can understand that. Well, your babies are fabulous. Thank you. I mean, I was very, very intrigued when I just popped, the page just popped up on Facebook for me. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't even looking for it. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. All of the work that she put in, in this, like it is definitely amazing. So are you starting with the head now? Yeah, I'm working on the head now. Ooh. <laughs> so now, what are you starting with? Huh? What are you starting with? What do you mean? Like the eyes or the you're you're about to start with what? Oh, I done already been in the ears and the around here and up here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing the eyes. Okay. So are you putting color in them right now or yes, yeah, so I'm putting on purple. Okay, putting on purple. <clears throat> I love watching this. It's so relaxing too. You should follow me on. You should follow me on YouTube. I do. I do. Okay. I got to subscribe to you as well. All right, because I'm mostly live on here now. Yes. And I try to leave so my Facebook my open. Huh? I said you're gonna have my viewers coming on here now too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. So where can the people find you to order products? To order products, uh, Babies and Kids Unlimited Reborn Nursery. 
And that is mm -hmm. on Facebook, or you can go to babiesandkidsunlimited.com. Okay. And, or you can email me at babiesandkidsunlimited2020 at gmail.com. Okay. Got you. So are there any more questions before I get out of here? Can we consult with you? Okay. Miss Tiffany wants to know, can we consult with you first before ordering? And what's, your, and what's your company name? Definitely. It's Crystal Clear Skincare and Beauty. You can definitely do that. Um, we can even have a video call. You can inbox me and we can have a messenger video call so I can see um, actually what's going on. We, we can definitely do that and we can see the products that you need. Well, yeah. thank you so much, everyone, for joining in with me on this Skin Talk. And thank you once again, guests. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. What, what, one, one quick. They said, what's your, what's your name of your company again? Okay, Crystal Clear, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L, but it's C-L-Y-E-A-R, Skin Care. Because that's, that's the uh, Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can go to that one. Don't type in C-L-E-A-R. <laughs> that's another company. So it's Crystal Clear Skin Care. It might pop up Skin Care and Beauty as well. So that is my page and you'll see all of that information.